Hi, I'm Casey Turkle. I'm from Crossroads Flex. Um, I am a team of two, so Laura Armfield's my partner. Um, and we have decided to roll it out kind of in a sandwich, so not top down or bottom up, but kind of going through the middle with students as our center of the rollout. Um, so before we even introduced it to teachers and as a mandate that we're going to do this, it's going to happen, get on board kind of thing, we actually laid the groundwork all last year to focus on the four C's, what the four C's are. We hung up 4C posters in every single classroom with I can statements on what that would look like as you're reflecting in a classroom. Is it creativity? What does creativity look like in this classroom? Um, and there's questions for teachers and students. Um, and so as we go through this last year, every classroom you could walk in and you could ask a kid, well, how are you showing collaboration today? And if they didn't know, they could look up at the poster and go, oh, well, there's that reflection question. That's how I showed collaboration today. Um, and they could talk about it with you. So we wanted to instill that culture before we even introduced digital portfolios because we organized our digital portfolios not based on subject, but based on those Cs. So we have a tab for all of those Cs, um, which we thought really helped reframe students' mindset. We know there's kids who struggle in certain uh, subject areas, and so by focusing on the Cs, they can manipulate those subjects to really show their strengths instead of just showing ELA or math or science. Um, then we decided instead of rolling it out to teachers, we actually rolled it out to NHS and student council. Um, and we asked them to be the leaders, to be the ones who actually teach the students how to do this. So we taught them, just me and my partner, uh, we asked them to create it, have an artifact for each subject area underneath one of the C's. Um, and then we presented at the end of the year at a symposium. The symposium was pretty low key, low stress. Uh, we invited uh, county people in, as well as parents and all staff members. They kind of rotated the room, asked them questions, reflected, and students loved it. They loved talking about themselves. They were nervous at first, but then once they started getting into it and showing their portfolios, they were super excited. So that moves us into this year. This year we're rolling out at student orientation, so every student at Crossroads Flex will have a shell um, within the first 10 days. Um, we are adding to the 4C culture. We have a couple new teachers joining us. We want to make sure all of the teachers now are trained on digital portfolios, as well as integrating those 4Cs. So we're going to keep focusing on those Cs this year. Um, as we move forward with the digital portfolio team, we're actually expanding it. So now it's going to be NHS, student council, and staff, as well as our counselors um, and administration. So now everyone is really part of this team. But again, our students are our leaders. So they're going to be the ones teaching our teachers. Um, so it gives them that extra power. Um, and then we've decided to create a Canvas shell where our flex coaches, which are essentially advisors, um, they can consist of like counselors. Um, I could see it in a more traditional setting, maybe just like English teachers or something, uh, where we have a rubric that we stole, borrowed, from uh, Wake Young Women's, uh, kind of translated it for us. And so we're actually grading these um, and using them in the classroom. And then we're going to do a symposium again, bringing in more career people, asking our career development coordinator to bring in more outside sources. And then hopefully that creates the beautiful cycle that's up there uh -huh. <laughs> uh, where we just keep going. Orientation, digital leadership, 4C, symposium. And at that point, we have this really authentic student-centered project. Um, if you can click to the next slide. So I just wanted to share some data that we found. Um, it's really kind of fascinating. So we focused again on the four C's. And at the end of this project, we asked our leadership team what they felt most comfortable with. And obviously, creativity. They love talking about how, creativity, or how creative they are. They were able to find artifacts in all four of their main subject areas, as well as their electives. They felt good reflecting upon it. But when we look at what they're least comfortable with, they're least comfortable finding artifacts for critical thinking. Um, and so that's where we're going to focus this year with our four C's and retraining teachers is how to talk about critical thinking and how to reflect on critical thinking. Our students are very capable of finding things that are pretty and they call it creative. They're very good at finding things that are them talking or giving a speech and they call it communication. But what they're struggling with is how do I find something that I can put on a website that is critical and did I critically think? Um, and so that's where our training for the teachers will be this year.